I was given a polar point in general, I would just convert it to rectangular, rectangular form. So if here's your polar point, r theta, rectangular form is r cosine of theta, r sine of theta. It's in your notes, right? We've talked about it over and over. So can I quickly just do this? Can I just sketch this real quick or figure this out? So, all right, so this is negative 2, 5 pi over 6. So I've got to know where 5 pi over 6 is, which is in the second quadrant reference angle of pi over 6. So that's going to be square root of 3 over 2, comma, sine is going to be negative 2 times 1 half. So therefore, this is negative square root of 3, comma, negative 1. Right? So it's basically, if we were to sketch this, because I want to visualize this. Uh-oh, what happened? <coughs> Something's wrong. That's in the second quadrant. That should have been the negative, right? So that's positive. So it's positive square root of 3, um, positive square root of 3, then down 1. So it's like somewhere over here. Or if I was thinking about this in terms of, well, I don't want to think about this in terms of um, polar right now. But if you were to sketch this, this is a rectangular coordinate. If you were to sketch this, square root of 3, guys, again, you can just estimate this. Like the square root of 4 is what? Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 1 is 1. So wouldn't you guys um, agree that the square root of 3 is between 1 and 2? Right? So it's like somewhere in between here, between 1 and 2. And then obviously we're at down at negative 1. That's right there. So we'll just say like the point's down there. So there's your coordinate point. So what we want to do is, can we find different representations of this point? Now again, though, this, th this gets confusing because if you just think about the angle, 5 pi over 6 is over here, right? That's the angle, 5 pi over 6. But if you guys convert it to rectangular form, this radius, again, negates both of those coordinates. So that's why the point is over here. So again, if we can just think about this, like, here, the reference angle is pi over 6. So that means the reference angle here would be, well, reference angle is always positive, so it's just going to be pi over 6. But could we now find multiple forms of this angle, knowing that the, refer the distance away from the x-axis is pi over 6? Yeah, we can find a lot of them. Somebody said negative pi over 6, so we could write 2 negative pi over 6. Does that give you that point? Yes. What about? Going in standard or in standard form, we could do that would be 11 pi over 6. 2 comma 11 pi over 6. Yeah? And I mean, there's infinite many, guys. You can just keep on adding and subtracting 2 pi here. You could also add and subtract 2 pi with this one as well. So we could also do uh, negative 2 7 pi, negative 7 pi over 6 would be another answer from there. But at least there's those two. Why don't you guys go ahead and give a shot with this one? And I'll check your work with that.